the environment problem in Lira is a big challenge because we have to address the challenge of deriving livelihood from the environment and sustainably using the environment. So we believe that Living Earth and the Urban Livelihood Project had a huge contribution in terms of changing the attitude of the poor urban community towards valuing waste and the environment. The project generated awareness and knowledge about using waste as a source of income. Bottle tops, straws, fabrication of metals. We advertise that we are buying scraps of aluminium. Then people go and look for it, they collect from where they have thrown whatever. In the villages, they come and sell to us. We, we dug a hole down there, and then we bought that uh, sack, which is having the tube inside. That when you pump the air, it passes through the pipe, and then from the pipe there it goes and passes through those holes in the plate, and then it circulates in the charcoals inside the hole there, so that to allow what? The charcoal to contain that fire, which you can heat the aluminium inside the compressor cover. When you pour, it circulates inside, it passes this hole, through this hole and then it circulates inside there. As the design has been, as the design has been made in that sun there. Yeah, then it remains as the saucepan. better than the other one for the shop because this one is very heavy and by the even though the fire comes up it can't be spoiled like me if i walked and then get it I I it because i know that there is a use for it mm. Mm. the need i get it in the street there i have to pick it and put it in mm. my bag then i came with it we take to those one who mold they made the mold as another saucepan yeah, stopping yeah. that those uh, the garbage of the whole one can help because when time come maybe to store it in a in a, some places they can even spoil the environment they can uh, use because that one can even use a lot yeah. huh? you can remodel it and a new one will not also also be needed the saucepan has been good because it has created a model to be replicated by all the communities in northern Uganda. And two, the project is useful because the raw materials are locally available, scrap metal. So you can see, we are trying to use our environment to solve some of the problems which we face. Because the alternative imported or made at a higher level is much more expensive. That is the foundation for developing underdeveloped economies. And, and that experience came from Urban Livelihood Project. And we are grateful for that. <laughs>